The Haunting Highway, The Phantom Driver's Unsolved Mystery. Jane Madison was no ordinary journalist. In her mid-30s, with raven black hair and striking green eyes that mirrored her fierce determination, she was known for uncovering stories that others dared not touch. Yet, her recent expose had backfired, leading to criticism and self-doubt. She needed redemption, a story to reclaim her lost reputation. An offhand mention of the lost highways by an old barkeeper in a forgotten town caught her attention. Intrigued by tales of the phantom driver who appeared after midnight, Jane decided to investigate. The highway was an abandoned stretch of road, conceived in the optimistic 60S, but soon overshadowed by the faster interstates. As she ventured deeper, the surroundings became desolate, with overgrown trees lining the road, their shadows playing tricks in the dim light. An unsettling silence was occasionally broken by distant animal sounds, creating an eerie soundscape. She recalled the barkeeper's warning, the highway doesn't like newcomers, especially after dark. But Jane, driven by her desire for a groundbreaking story, dismissed it as mere superstition. Suddenly, a fog, dense and impenetrable, enveloped her car. The radio, previously streaming a modern podcast, now echoed a melancholic 60s ballad, its haunting lyrics chilling her to the bone lost souls wandering, never finding their way. From this fog emerged blinding headlights of a car that seemed intent on getting Jane's attention. Its persistence was unsettling. The car's design was unmistakably from the 60S, its silver sheen appearing almost spectral in the fog. Seeking refuge, Jane took an exit leading to a forsaken gas station. Its rusted sign creaked in the wind, and time seemed to have stopped here. Exploring the station, she found relics from decades ago. Faded magazines, old soda bottles, and a newspaper detailing the mysterious disappearance of a man named Robert Langley. His photo with familiar piercing blue eyes sent shivers down her spine. A sudden ring from a decrepit payphone caught her off guard. Answering it hesitantly, she heard a whisper. Leave while you can. The voice bore an uncanny resemblance to Robert's based on voice recordings she'd heard earlier. As she pondered this connection, her car mysteriously failed to start. The silver car pulled up silently beside her. Its door opened slowly to reveal Robert, or what was left of him. His form was translucent, his blue eyes now filled with eternal sorrow. I tried to warn you, he murmured. Jane, paralyzed by fear, suddenly noticed another wrecked car hidden in the underbrush nearby, eerily similar to her own. Approaching it, she discovered her own lifeless form. The chilling truth dawned on her. Robert, the phantom driver, was not a vengeful spirit, but a lost soul trying to prevent others from sharing his grim fate. Jane was now bound to the haunting highway, another phantom driver with a tragic tale to tell. Years later, another journalist would venture onto the highway, drawn by whispers of Jane Madison and Robert Langley's unsolved mysteries. The cycle continued with the highway claiming more souls, adding to its haunting legends.